Hey, what's going on everybody? This is G the Hyper Sapien, and in this video we're going to take a look at Cromlex Killer Nors. This is the Killer Nors squad right here, but we'll bust this open and we'll have a look. Okay, so there's a lot of parts here, so I'm not quite sure what goes to what, but you get the bases. Nice smooth bit of wood. We'll put them to the side. I guess we'll just go piece by piece. So we have this Killer Nor here. This one I really like. Have these parts here for their limbs to go on. So their legs will slot into these parts here. Tail on the tail. That looks really nice. Really organic looking. All these folds. Love these little spiky parts as well on his tail. And then it starts leading into the mechanical side. In very orky fashion, he has all these metal plates on him with all these little bolts and rivets. Look at that face though, that face is awesome. Absolutely amazing looking. Love this sculpt. You have little... All the gums and the teeth. All different size teeth. He has these metal parts, these braces bolted onto his teeth. This tooth has a metal cap on it. You can see this metal cap there. But look at that. That looks amazing. Lovely work. There's a little wire coming in here. This little cable. It looks quite sophisticated. It looks like a monocle. His spare time when he's not going to war. Looks like it would be a butler. Yeah, look how crisp that eye is. That eye is lovely. Little bit of cleanup. You can see this line coming down here. Just get your hobby knife and just gently go over it. You don't want to scrape too hard and ruin any of these details. See here under the support there's this line that runs down. So when you get a pair of nice big clippers and clip this off. There's going to be a line down here. You just clean that up. Looks like one of his ears are missing as well. So they've just patched that up. And then he has this nice cool little goblin ear coming out. I like that these have ears as well. And you see this little goblin rider on top. But look at all these pipes coming out of it. It looks really nice. This is such crisp detail. See the goblin little rider. It's like he's playing a video game. He has these two joysticks. It's like he's playing an arcade. But then we have the next one. He obviously doesn't have his front face on. Not sure if you can put any faceplate on these or if there's a certain one for each miniature. Yeah, look at the mouth though. Look at that. Texture on the tongue. There's this brace around the tooth. You can see one's chipped. Even the back of the mouth here has so much depth to it. He has one ear again. I'm not sure if that's a theme. One ear. Yeah, obviously it's quite similar. But it is still nice and different in ways. So this would be where the weapons attach. And then where the legs attach. This one has more bigger spikes on it. Like big spikes coming out of its spine. Or tail. The little grot on top again. They're just kind of like cute, hey? How they're just sitting there, just moving it. I guess they control its mind or something. It's got these joysticks that he just moves around as it goes to war. This one has a different texture a little bit than the last. Now this is the third killer nor. This one has a nice big metal jaw. Just to change it up. That is cool. Different tongue here. The tongue is a bit different shape. Has a few stitches on it. Ah, this one has two ears. Two ears. You can see that it's all organic around that part. Yeah, I really like this big jaw piece that it has. These are just lovely models though. Cromlex do some amazing work. 
The tail has this brace around it as well, or this bangle. Little, <laughs> the little grot again, just sitting there having a great old time. It's like these guys are playing Fortnite or something. All these little grots, they sort of remind me of kids in these poses. They have quite big comical looking feet as well with a lot of texture underneath. Yeah, this is awesome. Love these. Now this is one pair of legs. So these legs are really nice. Look at that. That's like a raptor from Jurassic Park or whatever. Nice detail. Some scales creeping up his leg. He has this hoop here. Bit of body jewelry. A few more little scales coming up. You can see they have this nice crisp square here that's going to fit flush into the side of the killer gnaw. Some of this has come apart a little bit, but you can see these legs go together. Quite similar. I'm not sure if the posing is a little bit different. One doesn't have scales, but he has these little tiny spikes. So I'm sure it'll go with the right sort of body, the body that probably has these little spikes on them that we saw before. Look at that. That is awesome. He just looks like he's having a great time. I love that. Nice crisp eyes, crisp nose, even all the little, even all the little scales and spikes. Just so much detail. Nice crisp. Has this metal brace around here. Has this metal bracket around his head. There's hardly any clean up. A little bit here underneath. Yeah, I have to flatten this part down. It's obviously where it was on its support. Has this nice bridge shape here. Where it just will fit flush into the groove of the face. We'll have a look at that now. So obviously this support stopping me from putting it down flush. But he'll basically go into there. He'll fit into there. And he'll look great. So he'll fit into there. And he'll look great. Look at that. These are beautiful models. Really nice resin. The cast is good. There's no really issues that I've come across. Alright, so we had the third set of legs and head so this is really mechanical I love that all the rest of them are quite organic now you had to have one that obviously is quite mechanical cybernetic it probably goes with the one with the metal jaw definitely gonna suit the one with the metal jaw and you see his little eye hanging out really nice crisp detail they basically bolted these two bits of metal together you can see they kind of bashed it into shape they haven't got time. They haven't got time to make them look pretty, but they are pretty though. Has all these bolts and rivets around it. Has all these little shapes, these little triangles around his eye. So one of the goblins had a bit of artistic flair, I guess, and a nice big eye. This leg has a little bit of a brace around it that's bolted on. Yeah, those legs are really cool. You can see one of the nail has been, the nail here has been chipped down. But yeah, that is really nice. Now we have the goblins faces. So obviously you get one for each rider. One has goggles and trading. <laughs> you no know, one you concentrate and you just have your lower lip all the way up over your upper lip. This one's smiling, loving life, must be killing something. And this one takes himself a little bit too serious. He thinks he's in World War II. In the grim dark. But the rest of them seem to be loving life. You have Mr. Concentration, you have Smiley McGee, and then you have Mr. Serious. Not quite sure exactly where these parts go, but obviously you get these exhausts. All different again. So you have twin exhausts. This one splits, and then this one goes into one big exhaust. 
they look really nice though. I love how they have all these little details that separates them, changes them up. Now these must be the scrap cannons. Lots of detail again, all different textures on the different metals, checkers. A bit of artistic flair here. Really nice though. Now you have the other scrap cannon. So I'm not sure if these are exactly the same. They look like they're the same sculpt. Yeah, that's the same sculpt. And then we have a few Lucy's. But again, it's the same sculpt. This has just come off its frame. But that's the scrap cannons. And then you have a drill for each one. So it looks like the weapons are the same. I guess it's easier just to make bulk of these weapons. So we'll take a look at one of the weapons, but obviously you get one for each. These are the drills. So we'll take a look at the drills. So we'll take the Kalinor and we'll have a look. So obviously it goes on here. They have these ball joints though. So the ball joints attached to the support here, but the ball joints gonna fit into this circle here. So it'll look like that. A little bit more flush obviously but you'll have these outwards and with the ball joint you could probably pose it a little bit slightly different it reminds me of ninja turtles krang with these big drills but yeah look at this detail we have some decorations some of these dags i believe they call them all these little worky bits Really nice and detailed though. Yeah, absolutely amazing models. But these are the Killer Nors. Really good models. I know I say that about a lot of stuff, but these are really nice models. Like, look at that. That is just beautiful looking. They've done a killer job on these Killer Nors. Just fantastic. But that's my Cromlech Killer Nor Squad review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. But this was G the Hyper Sapien. I appreciate you watching, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.